New at 6, political and community leaders in Hamden say they are fed up with Quinnipiac University. And now they're threatening to take their complaints to the school's board of trustees. The battle is over off-campus student housing. Video of one rowdy party where QU President John Leahy stopped by. That went viral. It was a story we first reported to you and went national. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with the latest on this. Mark, hi. Hi, Anna Keith. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Town leaders say they don't want to appear to be diminishing the value of having Quinnipiac in Hampton. Uh, but they say that the school's indifference to the plight of the people in the neighborhoods can't be tolerated any longer. I didn't even know this street existed. I'm going to have to buy all these houses. In the land of the sleeping giant, the residents stop sleeping when the beer kegs start rolling in the neighborhoods where Quinnipiac students live. And despite an apology for his apparently thoughtless participation in one earlier this year, there has apparently been no outreach from Quinnipiac University President John Leahy to solve the problem. There's been nothing, no. And, uh, and in fact, I think uh, last night there, I was in attendance at a neighborhood meeting and uh, the frustration was overflowing. The Quinnipiac administration has not to date been very helpful. If you look at the map in the mayor's office, you can see all the rust-colored dots that represent off-campus rental housing in the neighborhoods. Even though the university has promised to have all students in university-owned facilities seen in green. For 20 years, Hamden residents have seen promises made and promises broken by this university. And that 20 years has paralleled the fantastic growth of the school under the leadership of one man, President John Leahy, who some residents feel has become arrogant where Hamden's needs are concerned because of his success and his enormous paycheck very angry, not only Quinnipiac for not housing their kids on campus, but creating an atmosphere of tolerance of this kind of behavior in our neighborhoods. Off-campus student housing that invades quiet residential neighborhoods and affects people's quality of life. And once again, when approached by News 8 about this controversy, a school spokesman said they would have no comment. Exactly the same thing that they said when we asked five weeks ago. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.